Yeah, and there's uh, there were some things uh, uh, that you guys were discussing. There's uh, stuff that we'll probably get into next time about uh, um, the mark of the beast, and I've gone into I've gone into it with Stump on this one, where the, the, that's going to be uh, a physical or spiritual kind of thing. And I kind of I I think I posted a question in chat that you know could there be you know um, uh, could could there be a chance that there it could be both that it could kind of be both. But, I think um, it certainly would almost have to be both, right? I mean, all through scriptures we see both a spiritual application and a physical literal application, and I don't see why the mark of the beast would be anything different from what we've previously observed with scripture. I would just, I would just like to ask Stump, like, if he just saw in the near future, let's just, let's just make it very, put it very bluntly and very, very, you know, we're not gonna try and, you know, make any blurry lines. But let's say they said, okay, well, we're gonna have this new um, uh, system of commerce, and in order to do that, you're gonna have to get either this tattoo of a six 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 either on your on your hand or on your forehead and if they do that and if without that you you can't buy or sell anything um if they did that stump <laughs> would would that what what would what would your reaction to that be uh that that, that can't be the mark of the beast because uh jesus said nothing that enters a man can defile him only that which comes out of him and he went on to list sins and it's pretty simple and then uh he also said, don't fear him who can uh, destroy the body only, can do mo no more, but fear him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. So man can do nothing to, to cause God to, to, to destroy your, your, your body and soul. Only you can do it. Klaus Swalf can't do it. He could, he could put whatever he wants, tattoos, microchips, uh, whatever, AI computer in your brain. It ain't gonna, It ain't going to defile you in God's eyes. Well, wait a minute, though. I don't think we're going back to the origins of that point, though, Stump, to be fair, right? So just getting the mark on your body as a tattoo, I could agree with you. However, first, that person had to make a conscious decision, something that comes from the heart, to take that mark. So then it is what comes out of that man that would be the defiler, right? Yeah, and wouldn't that would if you accept that mark, wouldn't you be defying Jesus? Would you be defiling Jesus as your Lord and Savior as well? Of course. Every time you sin, you, you you're rejecting Jesus, aren't you? And, and, and notice when he says nothing that, that enters enters you can defile you, he tells you what does defile you. And he and he, he's murder, envy, strife. Adultery. He, he he lists sin. I mean, how how much clearer could it be? He says this is what defiles you in God's eyes. Sin. He says it. Nothing. Right. I mean, and I know people are gonna say, well, that, that's related to food. Well, they didn't have a, a microchip back then. This is Jesus telling you, you know. So anything that, that enters your body don't defile you. It, it's what comes out of your body. Well, that verse is actually still being taken out of context, though, right? Because it's not even referring to food. It was referring to the ceremonial Jewish custom of washing your hands before eating bread. And the Pharisees were upset that the apostles were not washing their hands in this Jewish custom. So that verse isn't even related to food. It's related to eating with dirty hands. So it's like double out of context the way we're using it right now. I don't, I don't think so. I think the point how, how that, that Stump's be? making is, is clear, though, regardless. Well, yeah, go I ahead and re-elaborate. Because he says whatever enters your body. I mean, is that a, that's... So it's not... So what he's trying, what Jesus is trying to say, it's not your body, your physical body that gets defiled. It's what comes out of you, your heart. You know, your heart defiles you, not your physical body. But if that case, everybody who's overweight would be, would be defiled and thrown in the lake of fire. <laughs> Well, I mean, we are. I'm. I'm overweight myself, and right. I can in definitely there. say I'm. <laughs> I'm. Uh, right. Everybody living in haircut. one of those seven Everybody deadly to, sins. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody don't trim their beard right. They're, they're going to be in the <laughs> fire. That don't make sense. <laughs> well, the the beard, beard right. was again. I mean, that I see what you're saying. I totally agree. But specifically, the beard trimming was only for Levitical priests, no, no, which we don't have anymore. No, I know. And it was a, a very valid and good point, Stump. I just have yeah. to pick at you. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying, you know, everything would defile you. If you smoke a cigarette, you'd be in the lake of fire before smoking a cigarette. Can I say something real quick? Or weed. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I don't know this, but I suspect very strongly that me and Stump agree about a lot of things. We do. We do agree on a lot of things. The genesis of, of, of man, we just don't. The only thing that that this is a part of you is the evolution part and, and, and the time. I don't I don't think that's there. Other than that, you may not happens. you may not have gathered it from this particular conversation, Christian, but actually Stump and I agree on quite a bit also. Except for the I, I've, <laughs> I've, I've been trying to listen and get to know everybody a little bit better. You know, I, I have a bad habit of talking too much, so I've been trying to do more listening in this particular broadcast, which I've probably still talked a lot more than maybe I should have. Like like I, I, I actually uh, I'm, I, I'm kind of taken back by the whole Trinity thing uh, but I don't I, I kind of want to save that till the next one uh, as far as with stump uh, as far as with stump goes uh, hey, hey, yeah let let's save here. the Trinity for when Pastor yeah. Chuck is here yeah we wait can a do minute. wait a minute I want to just give one right when he said Jesus said Jesus said well uh, I am right he says I am Jesus clears mm -hmm. I am him and I, I want to know how many people are I am. How many? How many can you count in the word "I am"? Three. How you count three and I am? I, I. The letter I, the letter A, and the letter N. Those are three. I don't know. There's a. There's a lot of. But I, 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 I just, I just do that out there. I don't know. But uh, I, I, I really want to pick your brain on it, Stump. Um, and not even in a challenging way, but just to see where you are on the Trinity perspective. But again, I really want to wait for when Pastor Chuck is here. Um, so it's kind of killing me that we, I can't dig into it now. Yeah, it, it'll be an interesting conversation. 